Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. And remember, you can see this forecast all year round at our website, WSKITV.com. Brought to you by Geppettos. You can find them in Village West. And Tuesday is their two for night, so a great night to visit. And for Wednesday, another mixed bag system coming through. Oh, aren't we sick of this kind of repertoire? But here it comes. We're going to get a little bit of light snow overnight, and it's going to be snow first thing in the morning. So get out early, everybody. Summit temperature is 27 to 31. At the base, 30 to 34. On Thursday, that's when we see the temperatures even at the summit all the way up to 43 to 47, which is a real bummer because we will still have precip happening. Let's hope it's very minimal and we can get it out of here early and minimal damage done all around and then by Friday of course that's when the temperatures will go back down hopefully we'll pick up a couple more inches of snow with snow showers and flurries in the forecast overnight as well a high of 24 on Friday at a summit 8 on Saturday 27 for a high partly sunny skies and on Sunday partly sunny with a high of 30 so a nice weekend ahead but just another stupid weather event we have to live through for us Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Wednesday we're looking for 93 trails and trail sections open for skiing and riding 6 60 will be groomed overnight. Machine groomed is what you're going to find primarily out there, although there's definitely some stashes of packed powder, especially up high. Timberline, bridal chain, tote, spurline, kings, hay burner, gauge, comp, all of gondola line, all of white nitro, wedge, spillway, sluice, candy side, all on the list tonight. Scoot and windrow as well. On the east side, Widowmaker, Flume, Hallback, Ramdown, Lower Boom Auger, Whiffletree, Two Hall, Slasher, and in the lower mountain, as usual, Lower Winter's Way, the Boardwalk, Birch's Landing, and even all the way down Snowbrook, making sure everybody's just learning how to ski or ride, has good corduroy, so that makes it easier. Snubber, Skidway, and Sawduster serving that terrain start up at 8.30 in the morning. Double runner also at 8.30. That gets you a little bit further up to hill to slightly more advanced beginner terrain. And our two main arteries are the Super Quad and Skyline. Hopefully they'll be good to go at 8.30. Doesn't really look like wind should be an issue on Wednesday. So like I said, get out good and early. Take advantage of the start with snow before things change over in the middle of the day. On the east side, Whiffletree and King Pine both start up at 9 o'clock and at the top the Timberline lift also a 9 o'clock start. Hopefully all of those should be good to go and make sure you get out good and early. That is the word on Wednesday morning. Period. Frozen granular down at the outdoor center. That'll be changing too in the next 24 hours. There's not that much snow so they're staying off of it. No grooming being done for the time being. The skating rink is open but that too is likely to change in the next 24 hours with these conditions coming in. But outdoor center is always a great place to visit if only for a visit to the Bull Moose Bakery and Cafe where you'll find some wicked tasty treats. And Geppetto's is located in Village West. Tuesday is their two for so make sure you pay them a visit this evening and when Wednesday through Sunday afternoon and evenings. Be sure to check out the sidebar just across the hallway. A fantastic place for an exceptional après ski experience. And if you want to know what's happening anywhere throughout the Sugarloaf and Maine High Peaks region, check out our website all year round. WSKITV.com. We keep you in the know about whatever there is to do throughout the entire region. And if you want to know before you go, you won't find another source like WSKITV17 and WSKITV.com. We've been turning visitors into locals since 1979.